Hey guys, this is Anne Marie coming at you as the anti HR HR lady. And today I want to talk to you guys about boundaries. Let's consider it the word of the day boundaries. Time and time again, I have conversations with my clients about the importance of setting boundaries. And this is one of the places where we often fail as employees from the very first day. We do not establish clarity around what we will and will not put up with at work and what we will and will not do at work. When you are hired by an employer, they're buying your services on the open market to do specific things that should be in your job description. You need to set clarity starting from even the interview process about work-life balance, hours of work and responsibilities. So that means that if you have agreed to do a certain job and then they decide that they want to pile somebody else's job on you, you should be prepared to push back on those things or even decline to do them without additional compensation and or an updated job description. It is your responsibility as an employee to set boundaries and set and to stick to them. So if you believe that it's important to have your weekends off to spend with your family or do whatever it is that you want to do, which might be nothing at all, you have to make that clear and you have to be willing to stick to that even when people try to step over that boundary. So if you don't want to work on the weekend, you should make that clear from the very beginning and then you shouldn't. You should turn off your phone, you should turn off notifications, you should not be available to even answer emails on the weekend if you don't work on the weekend. If when you're on vacation, you don't want to be contacted by anybody at work, you should set that expectation and then turn off your phone and don't answer your phone or look at emails while you're on vacation. Boundaries begin with us, not other people. The boundaries that we set for ourselves are the boundaries that we then should enforce with others. And when people step over the line, you should gently and politely show them back to the other side of the line. You can't be afraid to say when you come back from vacation, oh, well, I tried to reach you. Uh, I know you were on vacation, but I tried to reach you. Well, I didn't see your email until this morning because I don't check emails on vacation. Boundaries. It's very important that you get some and set some. I wrote a blog post about this. It's on my website. You can check it out, the link in bio. If you are dealing with HR difficulties at work and you cannot get them resolved by your HR department, feel free to reach out to me. And if you are dealing with discriminatory hostile work environment, please definitely reach out to me. I help my clients escape discriminatory hostile work environments oftentimes with separations with severance. Yes, with cash. So if this sounds good to you, please book a discovery call at the link in bio and let's talk about it. HR is not your enemy, but they're definitely not your friend. I am. This is the anti-HR HR lady. See you in the next video.